Good morning, puppies. Hi, Bear. Bear. Hey, Macy. All right. I'm just going to go wake up the birdies, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of little things I've been working on. Um, sheep pelts. These are some sheep pelts from the, our local butcher shop. Sometimes people don't ask for their sheep pelts when they bring in their animals to have them processed. And I, I want to get better at tanning and at turning sheep pelts into sheepskin rugs. So the first step is I get them in a plastic bag straight from the butcher. There's a bag that I need to bring down to the trash today. I got six from them the other day. So I have five of them rolled up here and another two in here. Um, I got six yesterday and I got, I think, three a few days before and I got three of them last week. So I've got quite a few that I'm working on. So what I do is I take this pelt, this sheepskin pelt, and here's a good example of one right here. Um, when I first get them, they have a lot of fat and flesh and fascia on the skin side, not the wool side, but the skin side. Um, it has a lot of gross, gunky stuff on it. So what I do is I cover them. I lay them out here on the deck, skin side up, so that the wool is facing down. And I cover them in salt. You can see a bunch of my salt is just kind of scattered about. I use non-iodized table <coughs> salt, and I use kosher salt. You know, whatever you want to use would work, as long as it doesn't have iodine in it. And then after I've spread the salt about an inch thick over the entire sticky, gross <laughs> flesh surface, I turn it over on itself like a sandwich. I just flip one half over and then I roll it up. So each one of these is flipped in half and rolled up. Two of them are bigger than the other three just because they were probably adult sheep and the other ones were lambs. So here I have a couple of pelts that my friend and I have been working on. So what we do is we do something called fleshing. After they salt cure for about a week or so, and that just removes a lot of the moisture and the fluids, then we take a knife. We have a couple different things we've been using. This is just an archeological, like a paleo fleshing stone, specifically for fleshing hides. It's a little too small for my hands. It kind of hurts me to use that one. This is just a regular kitchen knife, but it's one that's nice and dull, like really dull to work with. That's my favorite instrument for flushing. We also have an actual flushing knife right here. Um, I bought this when I started tanning. It wasn't very expensive, probably about $12 on Amazon. And I hate it. <laughs> I know that a lot of people love flushing with a flushing knife. I hate it. I think it's really bulky and cumbersome, and I just prefer using a regular kitchen knife because it's just real easy to scrape the flesh that way. See, we got some right there. So what I do is after it's been salt cured for about a week I lay it out flesh side up on my deck railing and I start fleshing it. I just take my time with a knife since the salt has cured it it doesn't need um, to be rolled up every single night I can just leave it out here and work on it for a couple of days. There are some flies on it, but because of the salt, they're not able to lay their eggs in it or anything. So it's not that gross and it doesn't smell anymore because, well, it has a little bit of a, of a odor, but it doesn't smell like rotting flesh. It's not gross. It's just one of the stages to making a sheep skin rug. This is the first step is we have to take all the flesh and the fascia off. So here's one that I just started working on last night. You can see where I took some of the flesh off on the top there. <clears throat> And then down here, it still has a whole lot of good stuff I have to take off. So that's one that I'm working on. We also go through, and Joy has already worked really hard on this one. It looks beautiful. She's trimmed it all around so it doesn't have the little feet. Like this one still has the little feet hanging on. This is a foot right here. Or not a foot, but a leg. She's already trimmed off her legs. So hers is the shape of the sheep rug that she wants. We just have to work on fleshing it a little bit more. It's almost done. Here's one that I finished fleshing um, a day ago. So this one you can see, it doesn't have any flesh on it anymore. It's really nice and smooth, really soft. 
And what I'm going to do today is, here, I'll show you, there's the wool on the inside, that's a nice one. And I've already also cut off all the feet on this one, I believe. Got it into a nice shape. What do you think of that, guys? Hmm? What do you think of that, huh? Yeah, the puppies love it. So it's very dirty, I haven't washed it yet, but that's the stage before the washing, is just the flushing, the salt curing, and shaping of the of the pelt. We want to make it a nice shape. So there's that. You can also see it's just nice and soft. This is just like leather. It's just a wet version of leather at this point. Um, but we need to cure it a little bit more. <laughs> make sure that it cures and dries out completely so that it's no longer an organic material. I want it to be something a little bit more sturdy. So, oh, good morning, girls. Hi. So out here under my water spigot, I have a little bin. And in the bin, I have a couple of sheep pelts in the tanning solution. I use a solution that is powdered alum, food grade alum, as well as salt. And I just fill it with water. And I put these little tanned hides in here. And you can see they're turning pale white. These are ready to come out of this solution. And I'll wash them off really well with a good fiber wash today. And then I can take those pelts. This is almost the finishing stage of this pelt. I can take these two that are in here. Excuse you. And I can stretch them on a board. Pack them on a board, and then after they dry like that, you can condition the suede side of the pelt. Um, you can sand it down with a power sander to make sure it's really soft and smooth on the bottom. And the softer you get it, the more likely you, you will use it like as a actual, um, like a blanket on your bed. I've only ever tanned one sheepskin pelt in my whole life. I just did it about a month ago and it came out a little bit stiff on the bottom because I didn't scrape enough and I didn't sand it enough. So as I'm going through my little process I'll show you guys what I'm working on. But I really like sheepskin tanning. It's easy. It's easy, huh? <laughs> Good morning! Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you pretty? Hi! Aren't you lovely? Hi! Oh, I love my girls. Come here. Should we give them some breakfast? You guys want some breakfast? Oh my goodness! <laughs> 
Hope you guys have a great day. See you soon.